Okay, hi everyone, thanks for being here. So the topic of today is how to digitize your HR process from recruitment to appraisal. And the answer is with Odoo, of course. Um, so this is a short agenda of uh, the topics we'll be covering today. Uh, but let's get started. So um, let's first talk about uh, typical pain points in a HR department. So typical pain points we can uh, think about is, for example, they have too many different tools to use and integrate. Uh, they would have one tool for leaves, one tool for fleet, one for meetings, job positions, applicants, employees, payroll, and so on and so on. So these are a lot of different tools to uh, use on a daily basis. And on top of that, you also need to integrate these. So uh, some might be in Excel, the other might be in a, in a software, others might, might be in a, on, on paper. Uh, so you, ne you need to use all these different tools and you also need to integrate them. So that might take a lot of time uh, that is not really productive time. Okay? Uh, so all these integrations uh, might soon become a nightmare. Another pain point in a typical HR department is that they have too much paper to handle because they, they meet a lot of people, they have a lot of forms to fill in, like contracts, appraisal forms, uh, leave approvals, interview reports, expense sheets, pay slips, and so on and so on. So filling in a paper is okay, but you need to print it, maybe you need to scan it, uh, then send the email, wait for uh, the signature back, etc., etc. So that might also take a lot of non-productive uh, time. So, how can Odoo help? So we are really convinced that Odoo can help uh, a typical HR department uh, with these uh, two pain points. Why? Because first of all, Odoo is fully integrated. So all the, the different domains that we just talked about, they are integrated in, uh, in Odoo. So no more different tools to use. You can just uh, log into Odoo and you can, uh, you can manage your employees, your contract, your fleet, your payroll. Uh, the leaves, the appraisals, etc., etc. So that's the first reason why we we are convinced that Odoo can help the HR department. And the second reason is that Odoo is totally paperless. Okay. So basically everything we, we just talked about, you can do it without any with, without filling in any any paper form. All right. So what's the typical flow we could have for an HR department in, in Odoo? Um, of course, this might not be exhaustive. It's just an example. Um, so first of all, uh, we can create and post a job position. We can receive the applications for that job position. We can plan the interviews. We can send a contract uh, to a successful candidate. We can uh, create an employee once we decided to, uh, to hire the candidate. We can create a contract. Uh, then assign a car, allocate leaves, and create an appraisal. And we can also uh, process the payroll, for example, uh, after that. This is only in, uh, all, all of this is, is done only in Odoo, without any uh, paper form. And uh, everything, I will show this in less than 20 minutes. All right, so let's go for a short demo. If you don't mind, I will sit for the demo. And let's just log into Odoo. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Uh, let's say that I want to create a job position and post it on our website. Okay, so I will just go to uh, the recruitment app, which is here. And I will just create a new job position. Okay, uh, let's say senior developer. I will create this. Uh, I will add a few details. For example, the department, it would be in R&D. And then I can put uh, responsible uh, for the, the recruitment, uh, etc., etc. Okay, let me save this. And you can see that from here you have smart buttons showing the number of applications you received for uh, that position, the number of employees that are already having that position, number of documents like contracts, uh, uh, CVs, etc. Trackers that you can also uh, create. So trackers are um, uh, tools that you can use to see from which channel a candidate replied to the, um, to the job position. 
and then you can see here that you can publish it on the website okay so let's publish it so we are on the website now uh, you can see that it's unpublished right now so I can just uh, publish this uh, this job position it's just as easy as this of course you can modify the, the look and feel uh, with the uh, with the web editor so now it is published and let's imagine that uh, someone applies for uh, this uh, job position so let's just click on apply now <coughs> And we will fill the name. Let's imagine it's uh, Mark Twain. The email, Mark Twain. Okay, phone number, short introduction. Hi, I would like to work with you. And then also um, the resume. So we'll just choose a file, the CV of Mark Twain, okay? And we submit this. All right. So as the HR uh, officer, I will just uh, log in back to Odoo. And if I go to the recruitment app, let me just switch that off. Uh, if I go to the um, recruitment app I will just click on applications okay on that job position and we see that we have one applicant Mark Twain with one uh, document which is the CV all right so I can have a look at the details the email the phone etc etc and there are other details of course that I will be able to fill in later like the appreciation etc etc we can see that the applied job is senior developer department is R&D um, etc okay so from here, let's just uh, go back to the Kanban view and let's imagine that we are interested in, in that candidate and we want to invite him for a fir first interview, okay? You can see that when I moved the candidate from one stage to another, an email has been sent to Mark to, to congratulate him uh, on being selected, okay? So now let's just use the chatter here that you might know to send a message to Mark uh, and tell him, okay, uh, ca can we uh, can we meet tomorrow for an interview? Okay, we send this, and this will automatically send the email to Mark, as we can see here. We send this, and let's imagine that Mark replies to the email. It will appear in the chatter, so you don't even have to uh, look uh, at your emails, and. Let's imagine that we now want to plan a meeting for that first interview with uh, Mark. And it will be tomorrow from uh, 10 to 11, for example. Let's plan a meeting. Mark Twain's first interview. Interview. I can edit the meeting and you will see that Mark Twain and, the, uh, and myself, the administrator, are already invited to that meeting, so we will both receive an email uh, with the invitation, okay? I can add some more options, of course. Uh, let's save this, okay? And now we have this meeting that is planned, okay? Now, let's imagine that it went very well and that we are very happy to hire uh, Mark Twain. Um, there is still one thing to do. He needs to uh, sign the contract, of course. Yes? This one will be appearing also in the calendar. On the, uh, yeah, that, that is the, uh, the calendar that we just saw. No, the calendar app. Yeah, yeah, it will be in the calendar. So in the, in the global calendar. It's a, it's a meeting, so yeah. Okay, so let's imagine that we, uh, we propose a contract to uh, Mark. So now we want to send the contract and get the signature. So no need to print the contract, send it or scan it, etc. We will just use the, uh, the, the, the sign app of Odoo. So I go to sign and I click on send. And from here, I will be able to send it to Mark Twain. Okay. And for now, I will just do it another way because it 
takes a few minutes for the, the email to, uh, to be processed. So I will just click on here, uh, copy this, but Mark, Twin, Mark will basically receive an email with, with that link. Okay, and Mark will be able to log in, or not even log in, just click on the, just click on the link. Okay, and it will be directed to this uh, page here where he will be able to sign his contract if he's happy with it. Okay, so as Mark now, I click to start. I'm um, asked to fill in my name, Mark Twain. Okay, next. I uh, need to uh, fill in my uh, initials, okay, empty, all right, adopt and sign, and finally I need to sign, of course, the contract, okay, so let's sign this, Mark Twain, not, let's not make it too long, adopt and sign, all right, validate and send completed document. So I just click here, I fill in my name and my email, just for validation. Mark Twain. All right, validate and send. Okay, thank you. And now if I log in as the HR admin again, In the signatures, I can see that we have now a new fully signed document, which is the contract of Mark Twain, okay, with the name, the initials, and finally the signature. All right, so th this looks really good. Uh, let's download this to attach it to to attach it to a Mark Twain's contract later on, okay. So now. Let's create an employee for Mark Twain because he will be part of our company. So we want to have an, an employee in Odoo for, for him. So I will just go on the um, applicant. So let's go back to applications. Mark Twain, by the way, we can move it to uh, con the contract sign column. Okay. And from here, I can create an, em an employee. It is as simple as that. I just need to. Uh, Click the button and Mark Twain is now an employee in our company with all the details. And of course, if I, if I had more details like the address, etc., all every everything would be uh, filled in automatically. Okay. So from here, I can manage a lot of uh, a lot of uh, documents for Mark, like the attendance, the appraisal, the contract, the leave, the pay slip, timesheets, etc. So let's create a contract now for Mark because we have the, uh, uh, we have the, the, the paper uh, contract. Uh, now we want to have a uh, actual contract in Odoo that we can integrate with the, um, with the payroll, for example. Okay, so let's create this. So this will be Mark Twain's contract. Okay, uh, we can uh, assign a salary structure, for example, uh, the employee salary structure. So this will determine how the pay slip of Mark Train will be uh, computed at the end of the month, uh, based on different salary rules that you can uh, set up in Odoo. And then I can have other details, of course, on the on the contract. All right. So we save this. <clears throat> we can put it at, put it as running, and. Finally, we can log a note to attach the contract that Mark just uh, just signed. Employment contract, which is here. Okay, and anyone will be able to have a look at this contract from here. All right. So this is for the contract. <clears throat> what else? Uh, we can also assign a car to uh, to Mark, for example. Now that that he has started. Let me close this. So let's go to a uh, fleet here. And Mark can choose between a Tesla and a uh, Corsa. And surprisingly, <laughs> he will choose the Tesla. So let's uh, edit this and just assign a driver to the car. So the driver will be Mark Twain. 
And by the way, I don't like the way it looks now because we only have the email address. It doesn't look really, really nice. So I will just edit this and just make it look nice. Mark Twain. And this will be applied to uh, all the apps in, in Odoo, okay? So it looks nice now. We can save this. And from here, we can see uh, the, the driver's history for that car. We can see the contracts we have for that car, the cost, the services, the fuel, the odometer, etc., etc. Okay, so now we have assigned a car to Mark. What else can we do? Uh, we can allocate leaves to Mark uh, since he is now working. And uh, maybe sometimes he, he would like to take some, uh, some time off. So let's just go to uh, the leave app. Okay, go to the manager section and I will uh, create a leave allocation for Mark. So basically allocating uh, a number of days that Mark can take as time off. Okay, so this is le legal leaves 2018 for example and it will be for the rem remaining of the year, it could be, I don't know, uh, five days. Uh, you can also use this new feature we have, it's the accrual feature. Uh, so basically you can accrue for, uh, for days off uh, as the time passes. Uh, that's also pretty nice. Okay. And since I'm the uh, HR admin, I can already approve this. And Mark will be allocated, allocated five days uh, of, of uh, time off for this year. Okay. And finally, we can also create the appraisal for uh, Mark Twain. Let's imagine that in our company, we have this, uh, uh, this habit to, uh, to have a, an appraisal after one month of employment. So we want to create an appraisal for Mark, Mark Twain. I will just go here, create this, and choose Mark. Okay, the appraisal deadline is next month. So that would be this. Okay, and this appraisal should include the manager and the employee. For the manager, I want to select which person is the manager, of course, let's say it's myself. And I want also to select the appraisal form that will be sent because obviously you don't send the same form to the employee and to the manager. Okay, so I will send the form for managers here and to Mark, I will send the form for employees. Okay, I will save this. And when it is time, I can start the appraisal and send the form by email. Both the manager and Mark will receive the form by email and will be able to fill it, uh, fill it in, okay? So if I, if I have a look at this, um, yeah, I will fill in the appraisal later. The, the, the last step that we need to do is to create a user for Mark, okay, here, related user, there's none for Mark, of course, so we just type in Mark and we create the user for Mark, okay, all right, here, it's Mark Twain. And we save this. And we save this. <clears throat> All right, perfect. So now I will just um, log in as Mark. And I will also speed up since we only have three minutes left. Uh, let me just do one last thing. We just need to remove some access rights to, uh, to Mark. So I will just do it quickly now because Let's imagine that he's only uh, an employee. So let's remove this. It's just for the, uh, the ease of the, the demo so, so that he will only see the HR modules. Otherwise, we will be spammed with uh, all, the, uh, all the other modules. All right, save this. And I will just change the password for Mark so that I can easily Sign in. <coughs> Change the password. 
So let's sign in now as Mark in here. Nope. In here. Sign in. Mark Twain. And now Mark has access to Odoo and can, for example, ask for a leave. Okay, I want to have a day off next week. And as you can see, <clears throat> he can choose uh, the legal leave here and then ask for leave. Mark will also be able to uh, create an expense. Okay, let's imagine that he went on a, on a business trip or he, he had lunch with a customer. He can ask for uh, an expense for 20 euros, for example. We can save this, create the expense report and attach the bill, for example, create the report. And if I now log in as the uh, HR admin, here I need to submit to the manager. <coughs> If I log in as the HR admin, I will see in the expense the uh, <coughs> the expense of Mark Twain that I need to approve. Expense reports, sorry, to approve. You can see here that we have the expense report from Mark that I can approve. And if I log in back as Mark, I will see that it is now approved. So everything is done in uh, in uh, in real time. So you can see now that it's approved. And finally, Mark can also fill in the appraisal, which is a survey. So here, if I go here, I will just take the link of the survey for the employee. <clears throat> of course, Mark would receive an email for this. I will just copy copy paste the link for now in here here and here okay and so that's the uh, the appraisal of mark i can as mark i can start the survey say okay what 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 is your general appreciation of the job so far it's excellent what do you like the most in the company let's say the car branding it's obviously a joke and submit the survey and the manager of Mark will be able to see the result of the appraisal uh, in Odoo, of course. All right, uh, so that's basically it. Just a few last words. Uh, the key takeaways of this presentation. So if there are only two things that uh, I would like you to, to take away from this presentation, it would be uh, these two. So basically, HR in Odoo is fully integrated. As you could see, I, I could do everything within Odoo. I didn't have to use any other tool. Uh, and it's also totally paperless. I didn't have to use any, uh, any sheet of paper. And I was able to achieve all of this in less than 20 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have questions, I think I will need to take them uh, separately. But feel free to uh, meet me at the back of the room if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for your attention. Thank you.